Rambert, thanks so much for jumping on. Matt, thanks for taking time out. We're going to breeze through some of the watches in your collection, Remit. Now, I know that you've siphoned off some of the watches. They're in lockup. They're in a garage right now. But you've got some on standby that you can just walk us through. So please take us through what you're wearing first and then maybe a few of the others that you've got next next to your hand. Yeah, so I just have a few here. I'm, I'm wearing actually the, the Orla Bar Brown uh, for your eyes only shirt for Roger Moore because we we're talking about uh, Seiko today. So I thought to be in style. Um, and with nice. that shirt, which you, this, that shirt he actually wears, um, of course, right after he gets captured, um, after his whole dive in the Neptune. Uh, and in that submarine, he wears uh, like the gold um, tuna Seiko dive watch, famous watch. And um, I don't have that one. Um, I might get it at some point, hopefully, but it's, it's kind of getting really pricey, especially good versions. So there's a great um, alternative for it, which is the, um, the S, I think the SNE 498 um, model. And that's the one I'm wearing today, which um, I think is a great looking watch. Um, it's very similar to the looking to the original um, Seiko diver, diver, but it's, it's, it's much less, you know, uh, water resistant than, than that, you know, iconic diving watch but it's very practical it has like a, a solar power uh, so it just keeps running um, it has a nice little uh, date it, it has like a nice uh, golden color bezel uh, the shape is, is very beautiful i think the band is very cool too nice i like uh, that it wears class. very comfortably uh, it wears very comfortably and it's actually it's actually not even too big on my wrist i have a small wrist but it's it, it, it looks great on it so um, i think that's uh, yeah, for me, it's a very practical watch, which I would wear every day. And I probably wouldn't wear the original diver because it's becoming so rare and, you know, expensive. So that's is what that, I have. And of course, is that still um, available, Remit? Can you can people still pick up the one that you've got on the wrist there? Yeah, this one you can find you can find pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it's definitely, uh, I got this one uh, off eBay, but you can find it um, still in many places. Uh, this is like from last year or the year before or something. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Nice. And, and so what other ones do you have from the collection? I know that you did a review of the, the Pulsar PSR recently on your channel. Yeah, I, yeah, that one I have as well here in the collection uh, available, which is, of course, a brand new watch. That's why I have it right with me. Um, oh, look at that. Classic one. Yeah. I mean, it's a great looking. Um, I mean, this, this is very similar to the original, I think. And, and also, again, it's actually improved. Um, really, because this one actually will work longer than um, you know the other one. The other one, the battery runs out really quick, and it's very impractical. This one will last probably quite long because the the, the whole system they changed. They have like a an, an LCD screen, which you always see. It's hard to see now, but they have like an LCD screen. You see a little bit with the numbers, and then if you press it, an OLED screen pops up showing the red numbers, just like in a movie. Actually, for a few seconds, it goes off automatically. And if you press it again, you will see the seconds for you know a while. And this watch looks great, like especially also the the glass on top, the sapphire. I think it looks amazing. Like it's almost like a jewel, like the way they cut it, and it lays on top of the the metal. Oh, I see. Um, I mean, the case is is, a, is is just very well done, and um, the back has a nice little pulsar engraving, the pulsar star. It's like a magnetic star that the whole thing is based on. The name um, of the original watch. Oh, yeah. And this this is of course a Hamilton, so it shows Hamilton text instead of pulsar. But still, it's um, it's actually, of course, the first digital watch, which uh, leads really nicely up to our Psycho watches we're looking at today. Because actually the first, well, the P1 was the first first digital watch, basically. And uh, the P2 that, that Roger Moore wears and different that die was then the second one, but it's basically the same model. Um, and I think at that time, it must have been great to see that in the in the movie theater, like a, a, a you know a digital watch for, for audiences. It was really a new thing. You know, it was totally, yeah. completely a new thing. So it's I mean, like that, the hoverboard that in Back to the Future, right? Seeing something like it's that. Something that yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, <laughs> except, except that they don't they didn't take off and ruin the whole you know analog watch industry. But yeah, it's something something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they didn't they yeah. didn't cripple an entire sector of the <laughs> market economy. <laughs> or of the <laughs> transport section. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it, it's true. It's definitely like something like that, like futuristic, you know, and um, I think it was cool that Bond used it in a way to really be on front, you know, of that. Yeah, oh, and you, you know, I, yeah, I think the bracelet on that watch is very nice. I think it uh, has, uh, yeah, that, one, yeah, that, it has, yeah, that's that, a I mean, steel just, one, right? Yeah, yeah it's a very yeah, nice class. Yeah. yeah, that's that's something else. I, I really like that. And there, yeah, it, it comes in gold as yeah. well, Emmett, right? Is that? Is that correct? Yeah, so the golden one is actually a limited edition, um, and that one is uh, very, yeah, it's rare. Oh, there's a cat walking in front, but it's okay. <laughs> so basically, the the golden watch is, is is actually I saw it's still available on the website right now, but it, it's it's limited edition, um, and it comes in a special case, 
Uh, for the rest, it's the same. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, of course the technology is the same. But um, some of, of course, I got I got the one that looks the most like the movie. Although the golden one does look really nice, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I think this one I would actually wear because it's you know it's it's really a unique watch. I think it's so different from any of the Omegas or from you know even from the Seiko watches. Like it's it's a completely different watch. Yeah, it's a so, thing of so. beauty. It's a thing of beauty, all right. Um, and. Yeah. So what last else? one I'll show you. Yeah, please. Um, well, you, you you posted recently, you know, as well. Um, you have it, I know, Peter. <laughs> but I think this is a really fun watch. It's an homage watch as well. It's um, the Casio, you know, that kind of looks like the uh, Seiko from uh, Octopussy. And it's, it's just a fun watch. It's it's so cheap and it looks so good um, for a digital watch, you know, fan like me. It's 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 a fun dial to look at. It it actually has very a lot of similarities to the to the uh, Octopussy watch. So. I mean, you can't go wrong for well about anywhere for twenty or, or forty, you know. Plus. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. I think it's really fun watch to have. It cost me more money to have the links took out than it did to buy the watch. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you have to actually adjust that one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Same with the, the pulsar, actually, too. I had to, I had to adjust the pulsar as well, because um, yeah, you you have real links, but um, I mean. Of course, the Casio feels a little bit uh, flimsy. It's, it's of course a plastic case, kind of you know. Um, the, the band is not as, as solid as the the Pulsar of Hamilton, but you know it's a really fun watch I think to have and, and, and wear. And um, yeah, again, it, it fits. I really like the, the digital watches, you know, the Seiko watches from the Bond movies, like digital watches in general from the eighties. Uh, I, I was just I grew up like them, and uh, you know, for me, I just like to look at the digital screen. So I, I know a lot of people. Don't have a feeling with it but for me that, that's just a fun watch you know great great fit and before we go uh matt as a little bonus round would you mind just showing us what's on your wrist please today yeah so i have my my um speedmaster i've had this speedmaster for oh uh yeah for 19 years i got this in wow. 2001 the speedmaster triple date and it um i i, I got it just because it has it has probably more features than any, um, I mean, than almost any other, um, I guess, any other kind of uh, watch. And I, I just like, I mean, I actually like, I use, you know, the the functions of it all the time. It's very useful to know what the date is, what the day of the week is, especially in these times when all the days just blend together. This watch has become <laughs> more useful than ever. <laughs> and yeah, that's and great. Yeah, that's a nice watch. Was there nice. any inspiration to get this watch through the Amiga and Bond connection, or was this something completely dislocated from that? You know, um, you know. I mean, I knew that Bond wore Amigas, and I, I guess I, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't exactly. Maybe I didn't want the Bond watch at the time, and it, it was, and I, you know, I saw this watch, and it really just stood out to me, and it, it spoke to me. And there were other brands, you know, I was looking into at the time, but. Um, I guess I stuck with Amiga probably because of the Bond connection, and, and maybe because it cost a little less than the other watches um, that I was interested in. Awesome. Well, <laughs> gents, thanks so much for awesome. showing us your watches. Until next time. Mm -hmm.